In this video, we will teach you how to properly swab a child's nose. The steps outlined in this video should not cause sharp or severe pain. Slight discomfort, sneezing, or watery eyes are normal. If at any point the child you are testing reports significant pain, stop inserting the swab immediately and contact a medical professional. If the child has frequent or difficult to control nosebleeds, do not use this product. Contact your healthcare provider to arrange testing. Children aged 2 to 13 years old should always be tested by an adult. In the cases of young children, 2 to 5 years old, it is strongly recommended that a second caregiver be present to assist during specimen collection. If you are unable to safely obtain an adequate sample due to an uncooperative child, then a follow-up with the child's pediatrician is recommended. As a caregiver, your first attempt will be your best attempt. Repeated attempts to collect a sample from an uncooperative child are often unsuccessful. We recommend the following techniques. Have all test supplies ready prior to collection. Have a caregiver demonstrate pain-free collection on a stuffed animal using a household Q-tip. Use an iPad or iPhone to play music, a video game, or movie to distract the child prior to collection. Offer a reward to encourage cooperation. If a second caregiver is present, we recommend that one caregiver hold and reassure the child while the other caregiver collects the specimen. The following hold is recommended. The bear hug. The caregiver holding the child should place the child's legs between their own legs and their arms over the child's arms, hugging them and providing reassurance while firmly holding the child. Hold the swab at the midpoint. Please ignore lines or markings that may be on your swab as they are not related to this test. Hold the child so that their head is still. Slowly and gently insert the swab until the swab head is no longer visible and you meet resistance. As a reminder, for children two to five years old, it is not necessary to insert the full swab head. If you're unable to insert at least half the length of the swab tip, the sample collection may be inadequate and potentially affect test performance. Circle the swab five times around the inside of the nostril. One, two, three, four, five, making sure the swab is touching the inner walls of the nostril. Then switch to the other nostril and circle five times. One, two, three, four, five. You may now remove the swab from the participant's nose and move on to the next step.